Hello and welcome to the video. This is a first look and a review of this new thing from Beta FPV that has just been put on the website. So as I'm recording this in advance of the release, not sure of the final price point, but this is the Meteor 75 Pro version. Now I had a look at the previous version and I really liked it. There was only one thing that I could find a problem with and that was the fact that unfortunately flight time was only around three minutes and that is long enough for me. I like four, five, ideally six plus minutes and that's asking a lot for a whoop, particularly one that's also got a HD system on it because these are available not only with analog but also with HD zero and walk snail units as well and this one here again has come with walk snail as well as walk snail this has express lrs on here that's built in and beta fpv won the first to bring out express lrs connected quads in october 2021 if you remember that that was the hx 115 lr then they brought out the beta 85 pro 2 whoop that had express lrs that i liked back in november 21 and then the last one i had in was that original meteor 75 with walk snail and also available with HD0, but I got the Walksnail one in here to try back in September 22. Beta FBV have been absolutely one of those vendors embracing the new HD systems and Express LRS. And I like to see when they are bringing out new stuff, particularly when they're listening to pilots. Beta FBV definitely seem to have sorted themselves out. And they now make some of my favorite Express LRS receivers in the shape of the ELRS Super D Diversity Receiver. So what's changed with this new pro version of the Meteor 75 with walk snail? Well, here are the headlines. It is a new frame. It is a different frame from the original one. The frame's a little bit larger and it has a completely redesigned hood and camera mount system. The props are bigger too. It now has 45 millimeter props and the props are of radically different design. And it also has a larger 550 milliamp hour battery compared to the 450 on the original. And the result of that is that this has a much longer flight time. They're claiming about 6 minutes 40 seconds. I think you're going to have to be very, very careful with your throttle for that. However, getting 4 or 5 minutes in the field flying in a spirited fashion doesn't seem to be a problem at all in the stuff I've done here. So let's plug it into Beta Flight and have a quick look at how it's all set up. Uh, nice to see that this is on Beta Flight 4.4 and the USB port is at the bottom making it easy to plug in. You just can't plug it in with a battery attached, which isn't a bad idea. There is something in the data flash which I like and I'll show you some footage from inside the Beta FPV offices in a moment. The Peripherals is set to MSP and Display Port, which is what it needs to be in 4.4 for a walk snail system. And then the rest of it is pretty standard stuff. What I'll do is I will put a link down to the diff and dump that I've pulled off this to let you have a look at that if you're interested or maybe you've tried something with yours and the configuration has disappeared. The only things I will draw your attention to is in the Modes tab. The Modes tab is set up exactly as you would want with channel 5 being your arming switch which is perfect for CRSF and pretty much default settings now. Base mode is angle, middle mode switch position is horizon and the top mode is going to be acro and flip over after a crash is also configured as well. That's all there is. That's perfect. The on-screen display is pretty standard too. Again they have selected the HD stuff which is what you want and again you could come in here and have a bit of a play but how it's set up out of the box is pretty nice and if you don't want to come in here and start playing with all this stuff it's not going to be too tricky to get it all working. The only thing that's worth talking about here is that I did struggle to get the radio bound to the unit with Express LRS. I tried lots of different things and I just couldn't get it to work until I figured out that the Express LRS version that's flashed onto this Meteor 75 Pro was a version 2 of the code, not version 3. I fed that back to Beta FPV. These should be being shipped with 3.2 installed on the Express LRS receiver. I think most pilots these days are going to be on at least 3.0. So hopefully they've listened to that and the production units will come out with that easier to bind version. 
In terms of flying, flying is exactly what you'd expect from this. The original Meteor 75 was a very nice setup quad. It's hovering about 40% throttle and it's very quiet as well. And that speaks to how efficient these larger props are being. It's very capable of controlled flying in an indoor environment. And these kind of things are perfect if you want to get into flying indoors and in larger areas. But this could easily whiz around a house as well as something like a gym hall. One of the things that I was impressed with was how good it is outside as well. Now, in the past week in the UK, it has been blowing a gale and raining like crazy. So the only flying that I've been able to do has been, unfortunately, in those really windy conditions. Wind's been anything from 12 to 15 miles an hour, pretty steady with extra little gusts as well. Now I took it out to the field and Adam in this video, he was the gentleman who was being my spotter and he was laughing because the quad was over at a 45 degree angle just to maintain its position when it was facing into the wind. But despite the fact that this is only a 1S quad, it could easily handle that wind. Would I want to fly it in 50 mile an hour wind? No, not really, but it does show how good the tune is. There is a little bit of twitching here, but it's coping incredibly well. On a day with a normal amount of wind, this is going to be easily capable of flying around and getting into lots of trouble with the power that's available with these larger props, even on 1S. The last thing I'll talk about here in the flights that I've had is that I'm definitely getting those longer flight times, definitely getting a about five minutes out of this even in these windier conditions where I'm using a lot more throttle just to maintain position and hover and after a two minute flight I've still got about 3.9 volts in the 1S battery. So there is a lot to like about the new pro version of the Meteor 75. It's a fun solid little whoop style 1S quad and I like the fact that everything you need comes in the box. There are the two batteries, there is the charger, the only thing missing is a prop removal tool. I like the fact that it's again available in HD0, Walksnail and Analog and I also like the fact that they've stuck well away from those ceramic ELRS antennas because this doesn't seem to have any range issues at all. Far better than on that original Meteor 75, the original review unit that I got had one of those ceramic antennas and it was terrible. Ports are easy to get to for both Walksnail and the flight controller for upgrades and downloading stuff too. And also is available for this is a box of interchangeable colours of different sizes because not only is the canopy a new design, it also has a new design of the camera mount which allows you a much wider range of adjustability as well from 0 to 40 degrees. But by using the different colours means that you can customise your own version. I'm very tempted to swap mine out for the snazzy orange version. Only a couple of things to be aware of with this. Mine here did, as I said, arrive with the older version of Express LRS and the Walksnail firmware as well needed an update too. So if you get yours, I fed all that back. Hopefully the production unit will be on the latest and greatest version, which will make things like binding easier. The supplied charger, although it uh, takes a little bit of time to charge the batteries, is very handy because it does also display the battery voltage when it isn't powered by a USB-C cable. That's very handy for keeping track of which of the batteries are charged and which ones aren't when you're out at the field. And I have heard from Beta FPV that the batteries I have here inside this review unit are kind of the first version. There is an updated version which is going to be shipped with the production stuff. So hopefully that will give that slightly more flight time too. So in summary, this absolutely get my thumbs up. This has addressed the issues that I had with the previous Meteor 75. And that wasn't a bad little whoop style flyer by any stretch of the imagination. It was just that limited flight time by increasing the size of the props, changing the frame and giving us a slightly bigger battery. Even with walk snail on here, getting that extra two or three minutes of flight time is incredibly welcome. So again, I'll put links down below when I've got them. Uh, hopefully the price point is uh, nice and aggressive as well on this, because I think lots of pilots will have an awful lot of fun if they get their hands on one of these. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.